You're watching WMAR 2 News. In Annapolis, a push to punish drug dealers whose sales led to overdose deaths. After Scotty Broadfoot Jr. died from using cocaine mixed with fentanyl, his father has fought for legislation to put the dealer responsible behind bars. A bill introduced by Senator Justin Reedy and Delegate Chris Tomlinson would do exactly that. It makes anyone caught distributing heroin or fentanyl that kills someone face up to 20 years behind bars. The bill is designed to go after drug dealers who are selling the worst of the worst to our loved ones, not addicts who need treatment. Now the bill has bipartisan support in both the Senate and the House, but the Office of the Public Defender opposed it, saying the penalties are on the books, they're, they're tough enough. Behavioral Health System Baltimore also testified against the bill, instead pushing for investment in addiction recovery services. We got a wet stretch of weather coming up. That's most of Wednesday spilling over into Thursday. Then we'll get a break by the end of the week. Either way, across the board, temperatures stay pretty mild, all things considered. Mid to upper 50s, even low 60s. It's another round of rain by the weekend, Saturday into Sunday. Be a quick night. We lose an hour as we spring forward. That means sunsets will be later, so will sunrises. Temperatures uh, early next week in the mid 50s to low 60s. A lot of dry time. That's near average in the mid 50s, but we look to get warmer than that through the middle part of the week, and late week. Jamie. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.